So within this Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty video, I bring you six more secret iconic weapons hidden in the game you do not want to miss. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So I've already made three videos showcasing many other hidden iconic weapons from the Phantom Liberty DLC. All of which you will find linked down below within the video description. Today guys, I bring you six more you do not want to miss. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so this one I need a little help on. And it's the Umbral X Mod 2. So this weapon I know the location of. Uh, you will see that on screen now. Come to this point guys and follow where I go. But for me, and I know many other players, the path to this actual weapon is blocked off. Now I have multiple saves from the start of this DLC to the very very end. I've tried them all, the path is always blocked off. So I believe something else may come into play. I've tried skipping to almost every hour of the clock and still nothing. Now what I will say is thanks to MarKG on Reddit for showing us the location of this weapon. But as you can see on screen, after you use the lift to get up top, and also if there's enemies here take them out. But it's this part here where I come to on the screen guys where it is blocked off. There's a slight gap you can see through but it's down here at the end of this kind of pathway where you will find this weapon. Now if we look at the images from Mark AG on Reddit we can see the panel for him isn't there. So we can just jump straight in and come to this weapon which is really weird. So if anyone knows why do let us know. As I said the weapon is behind here we just don't know how to get through it. Okay, so next up, guys, we have the Pulsar. I think that's Pulsar X Mod 2. I'm shit at pronouncing things, guys. I do apologize. Now, with this one, it is a little weird. This weapon, for a lot of people who have checked, is locked behind a door. It was for me on countless attempts of trying to get it. But, guys, I think I have figured this out. It is just maybe a little buggy. So, from this point on the map, guys, you need to scale up to this point here, as I do on screen now. So when you get here guys, you will see speakers. Now I do believe, depending on the time of day you come here, the room in which this weapon is being held will be open. As this weapon is locked behind a door, but this door sometimes opens and there's a party going down here. So I do believe you have to come up here early hours. Now when I come up here, as you're seeing on screen now, there are speakers playing music and this never happened to me before. And I'm just, I think I'm about almost 5 a.m. here. So what I did was I checked the door but it was locked. Here I skipped time around 23 hours to that 3 a.m. mark. I had another look at the door, it was still locked. So I skipped time by one more hour, just before 4 a.m. I then took a back route around the building and it triggered something which allowed the door to open to me. Again, I do think this is bugged, but at the same time it is a party they are having, so I feel it has to be early hours of the morning before this door will open. So come here guys, Test this and let me know your results. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Baseball Bat X Mod 2. This one is as easy as coming to where I do on the map guys, following the path I take and just picking this thing up. Also, there's a little hidden den you may want to check out right nearby after grabbing this iconic.
Next up guys we have the Crime Stopper Iconic Smart Pistol. This one is tied to a gig called the Heaviest of Hearts. So what this offers, rounds have a chance to disable cyber limbs, immobilizing the enemy and increasing crit chance. Crit chance is momentarily increased after reloading this weapon. Okay, so this gig is located right here on the map. Here guys, you will quickly meet Michael. Now Michael wants you to seek out a DA because his son is having tax issues. So in search of this DA, you end up at a place called the Heavy Hearts Club which many of you will know. So if in here guys, you need to make your way upstairs to I believe the top floor where the private rooms are. The room you are looking for is number six. So as you enter this room guys, there's a suitcase right in front of you. Within this suitcase is this Crime Stopper Iconic. So get this thing. Next up guys, we have the Hercules 3AX Iconic Smart Assault Rifle. And man oh man, this thing is on another level. So it has a chance to severely poison enemies. Poisoned enemies are more susceptible to crit damage. Neutralizing them causes them to explode and leaving behind a pool of acid. Yep, cool as. So this weapon is tied to a side gig called the Roads of Redemption. This side gig consists of you helping a bird called Nelly. Nelly wants to help neutralize a bomb virus, which is why we sign up to help. So as you progress on after you find that suitcase and that bomb uh, and you do what you gotta do with it, follow the path out the door to the right as I do on screen now guys to find this iconic waiting for you to grab it. To be honest, I'm pretty sure I'd already walked straight past this part earlier on during this gig. I may be mistaken but I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, so next up guys, and lastly, we have a weapon tied to the main story. The weapon is called NDI Osprey, and wow, this thing is an utter beast. So this iconic power sniper rifle fires a series of explosive rounds. Headshots increase damage from hit firing. Neutralizing multiple targets increases reload speed and a chance to apply burning. So cool as. So to get this weapon guys, you get it at the start of the main story mission of Birds with Broken Wings. We have to go to Alex's safe house. Once you arrive here guys and you make your way down, follow from the point I go on screen now guys to come and pick up this weapon. It's waiting for you in a case. And there we have it guys, six more iconic weapons from the Phantom Liberty DLC you do not want to miss. On that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.